really good, man. It's your boy Mas Finito. Hitting him with Squall's very own. You now rocking with pop out artist Squall. It's like this. Money must finito back home with the blood clot, lick a gunshot. Come up for the number one spot, niggas must have forgot about. Young homie that got the potty mouth. The chains are off and now he wildin' out. You know I'm Jamaican myself, so it's like, you know when they say when you excited or you gonna celebrate something, you know you look a gunshot in the ear, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm letting everybody know that hunger that I'm coming with is that number one spot shit. So it's like if you're not there. You're not doing that. Don't even try to be on like on no competition level with me. You know what I'm saying? This type of hunger different. I speak through my lyrics, so when you hear it, you feel it in your spirit. No gimmicks, money, months be the realest. With songs you can cherish, that's gonna make me different from the niggas that be looking at me as the competition. So once again, that's like me reiterating that and like standing on that. Like we not even gonna play around with the competition thing. Like I'm the human torch for real. I'm much finito for real, this animal squad for real. And if you ain't come a high level with it, like, you know, it's no disrespect back to anybody, but that's just what we do and like that number one type of energy. So they get this nice, you gotta take anger management. Practice yoga and meditate with the candles lit. So far, I've met no one that can handle him, no one that can damage him, no one that can stand with him. The game begging for change, panhandling. Everybody really used to what they hearing right now and all of that. And you know, they rocking with it and they bopping with it, but they really ain't feeling it that hard. Like, yeah, that music that you can feel really ain't been around. You feel what I'm saying? And so, I'm just trying to bring that to the table and show everybody off the rip with this first track when I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? What they about to step into, they about to step into some shit. These niggas out of pocket like they scrambling. Used to beat niggas up with the knuckle game. Now I'm about to fuck them up in a different lane. I still intimidate my victims and apply pressure like boa constrict this animal out the cage. And I'm still on that squad shit. Just press play if you sick of hearing the nonsense. When I was growing up and all of that, you feel what I'm saying? They know me for throwing hands and all of that, so they know me for running down and really, really holding down the east, you dig what I'm saying? And, and that's exactly what I'm finna do with this music, you dig what I'm saying? I'm really about to push this animal squad brand, me and Bula. It's really about to get real while we're here. I already won. I don't even hear a contest. And I got them scared. Bomb threat. We rappers, they running out of concepts. Either that or they telling stories that's far fetched. It's either you love them or you gon' hate them. That boy got so much flavor, plus he's so creative. That's me speaking on how I'm just coming differently, man. Everybody likes sound the same in this game, man. I'm just trying to make that diversity sound real crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really trying to display Animal Squad's diversity, Mula Rebels' diversity, Masfinito diversity. That CT diversity. And I ain't trying to do it jumping on nobody's wave. I'm trying to do it making my own music and my own sound. And just really like bringing it as hard as I can. You know what I'm saying? King Arthur, microphone my Excalibur, ready for any challenger. Use a deuce, deuce, summer four, four. For Nita was twice your caliber, animal score. Ain't no one a hyper as wild as us. Already got two strikes for fouling up. Now I'm about to, about to take flight, hit islands up. The beast is back. I'm fresh out the zoo, bitch. Fuck bitches, get money, part of what I do, bitch. Fuck with me, guaranteed I'll leave you black and blue, bitch. Mine's still an animal, but I'm on that new shit. When I say fresh, the chains is off, like, I ain't sitting down in that cell no more writing music, you dig what I'm saying? I ain't sitting down on the bunk no more. Ain't no CEOs cutting down this energy. Ain't no stopping me from going to the booth. Ain't no stopping me from going to the stage. And I do it for like all the underdogs, you dig what I'm saying? So, when I say fresh out the zoo, like, I really stand on that and all my bars. Yeah. I really want to just show like that animal hunger. Squall. <laughs> if you referencing it out, I'm going to be real with you. You want to like eggs and sedate it because you really about to start your day and get out of some workout shit. Like you really about to kick off the energy. It's really not no play around. Like there's something like, all right, that shit hit the alarm system. Let me get the fuck up. Energy's wildin', we know what we need to do. 
time to fuel up like you dig what i'm saying if this song was a person and then walked into the bar <clears throat> I'ma say this nigga right here, he drink Casamigos. You dig what I'm saying? And the reason why he stepped up in the bar and he drink a Casamigos is cause we know what we came here to do. Like, niggas be going to the bar and shit, and like they be drinking, but they be fucking around. Like, they'll go get a drink and then they'll splash it with some shit on the side, like some orange juice or some shit like that. You feel me? Um this is that straight Casamigo shit. Like, everybody that drink Casas know that you came to the party to get fucked up and we ain't come to fuck around and we getting straight to the point. So, that's what the intro is when they walk into the club. You dig what I'm saying? That's my question to myself. Like, why well, I don't think you should skip this song as the intro. Um, unless you're just really trying to get past the intro, which I don't know why, because I'm trying to wake you up and let you know what, what everything's about to go on and shit. Like, you don't motherfucker cook food without the heat. What what dance move would this shit be? I wanna say like this ain't that dirty shit. This like this like that bop shit. Like this ain't like and that's nothing wrong with dirty shit, but it's like this that bop. You feel what I'm saying? Like that lean kind of shit. Like I can't say I'm sad. I can't say I'm sad at all. I can say I'm blessed. I'm in a blessed position. The fact that we even having this interview right here, I'm blessed. Um. I ain't got shit to be sad about. All them sad times is over. I sat down for five years. The second that they let my ass in the halfway house and I was home and I was able to step on my plans and really create and bring them shit to fruition, that being sad shit was over. You gotta be specific with yourself. You gotta be real with yourself. And you gotta understand that every day ain't gonna be the motherfucking same. It's impossible for a day to be the same.